you're playing to a, a timing right now where you're really strong. They're going to go for the fight here with the smoke. Yeah, see if they Charlie on the Razor up. has treads right now. Finishing the drum very soon. Gets glimpsed into the Static Storm Kinetic Field combo and into the waiting arms of Kesani. So an easy one for Hellraiser. Seneko almost gets out, actually, but a double kill here for Funnick as the chase will continue. Aeris still has Curse. See if they want to try and force this out, or if he even uses it. Might just take the death. And the Aether Remnant will clean him up nicely, so... Yeah. They might want to take a fight, maybe pick somebody off beforehand, but HR... They have the high ground here. Clinks might be the bait. Indeed, he might be. The Clinks dies immediately. There's a Winter's Curse defense. Charlie with the BKB static link applied to the Shadow Fiend. The BKBs have already been popped galore, and he's going to find his way to the grave. It's a two for nothing, and Charlie's going to continue the chase onto the Nyx. Looks like that is a third kill for Nyx. He hits everyone. It's crazy. Jeez. He gets 105 damage per hero. So. Pretty dirty. Phoenix taking a swift slash to the face, but will live. Spin, TP, and we'll be fine. He's making so much space for the Roche. That's true. Roche is being taken out, and looks like Saberlight might want to sacrifice himself again. Slight of Fist is pretty big. Dies, might have to bad. back out, though. And yeah, this would be a dieback for the Meepo if he goes down. And I think with this, they're going to have to back. There's the... Soulbind onto two. Looks like the Disruptor dies right off the bat. Ember Spirit getting very low along with the Phoenix, but looks like they're going to survive. There's this Onslaught. Charlie. Charlie taking the right place from Kaysani, who has plus 555 damage, and down goes the Juggernaut. Does have buyback. will use it immediately. Echo Stomp on the entirety of Nip as the BKB will continue on oh at Supreme. God. That is a die, but no, the e Blade keeps on line a little bit longer, but falls shortly after, and now Saber Light will go down. It's a double kill, and here's the true Omni Slash onto the Elder Titan. Finally goes down. The briefcase is no more. You've been fired, my friend. He has to buy back in the game immediately. Charlie spins. Not quite in range of this egg, but will still get stunned up, and that is a dieback on the Juggernaut now. Kinetic Field not able to catch anybody out of Seneco attempting to TP, and Nyx will find the Yules, and that is four dead right now, but that is a double dieback for Nip. 30 seconds is a good amount of time try. for Nipo Jug. Oh, Indeed. Glimpse. glimpse. Saberlight just trying to waste as much time as possible. They don't want to probably commit to anything here. Decent amount of damage down to Bounty. Especially with that Spirit Vessel applied. Healing Ward not out at the moment. Actually continuing on. Funnick jumps in. Only has his W to get away. Phoenix, this is a huge kill, but he gets the egg off and instantly dies to the Meepo. That is a huge part of their team fight down now as Funnick looking to try to take out this Juggernaut, and they will. So Nip, despite looking like they were about to win the game potentially, did not go for the third Rax. Instead tried to fight under the Tier three, tier 4s. Now Elder Titan is back in tow, my friend. Soneko pops the Ghost Scepter, will fall shortly after Ember Spirit. Trying to go for some more Supreme. This could be a huge kill for them. And yeah, <laughs> with Kaysani, ridiculous damage coming through. Divine Rapier picked up on the Ember Spirit. Looks like he'll be getting that very shortly. And the Bounty Hunter will be the last kill in this engagement. They do have two buybacks, but on none of the cores. Just allowing the creeps to come in. There's one tier four remaining. Funnick now tracked up, does have his Lotus. Should mention he did pick up the Witless Shaco as there's the Swift Slash. Oh, Disruptor ult's coming through. Juggernaut is in a lot of trouble. Half HP. They're going to kill the Healing Ward. And the heal. Oh my god, that ult from Elder Titan decimating again the Meepo. But that is just the Aegis. And they're going to take out both the Disruptor and the Phoenix now. Is the Omni Slash coming through? And this could be the beginning of the end for Hellraisers, despite having a great defense here. Funnick is going to be the third on the list. He's going to buy back immediately. Supreme is just going for Ancient now. It's at half HP. The fortifications pop. as Elder Titan trying to do as much damage as he can. They will take out the Meepo, and they will defend as a result. But Charlie's the one continuing to right-click. He's going to spin, try to oh! take down the Ancient. It's going to be really close. They get it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was so close. Oh. Meepo didn't have buyback. This could possibly yeah, have developed have been into turned. something sit back and say like we're gonna be okay battle for the bottom outpost limp he really wanted this but he stunned up and stunned inside the wukong command finally he'll get towards the edge fp kid thinking about getting out in fact he will but the hand of god oh, limp's getting enough life to be able to survive with the mischief fp kid can at least dodge a little bit of this slark's playing the back lines at the moment but lashrak is finally being brought down and slark didn't get his target in fact oh, now he's soul bound to fng so fm wants to get away to safety but nope the centaur stun will be there uh, maybe pugna can give him just enough life combining with a boundless strike fp kid giving Another enough space of but they're still trying to get him away. FN just toggle your ass off for telling you we'll finally drag him back in.
to the kill that goes the way of Nico, baby. My god, he wanted that, but maybe not diving underneath the tier 2 tower. Called up by DM, combining with the Inkswell, they get the stun available, and then the dunk down. Nico, baby, will fall, and Hans can make a break for the trees where he shall also go down. Is this one of those games where Slark can actually 1v5? Maybe like, if you can remove the know. axe, you'll have a better chance. The stun control is pretty good. FB kit, at least able to hit his stun. DM solo on life and the double saw one. How is DM? Okay, finally, he is going to go down. Buyback. But S4 as well as Nico are both gone. Both do not have buybacks available. FNG will get caught out on his way home. Way too much damage from the Monkey King. Abyssal Blade just like owning. Nice. Oh, okay. Okay, he's, he's got he's got Aegis the Immortal, so he doesn't really care. They get the perfect soul bind with the double silence. Goodbye, Slark. Goodbye, S4. Goodbye, game one for Alliance. Prodigy. They took this to the lanes and they kept it throughout the mid game. And it took 39 minutes to finally break the back of Alliance here in game one. Very aggressive lineup from VPP, and uh, they executed it well. Like Prodigy. This will be the dream start for them in the playoff bracket to take out Alliance. Bring forward that CIS pride. Another great call. Limp Beam perfectly controlled. The Blade Mallows out. The Boundless Strike ensures that Limp will have nothing more to fight with. FNG can't live inside of his own base. So no hand of God to save him. And Nico Baby hiding inside of his own base. You still need to finish the game. However, Prodigy look towards the British. Okay, you DM. Really? A three-man call. That's how you end this game. Dunk down S4 and GG. VP Prodigy take the series in a clean sweep. They will 2-0 it. That Radiant Observer Ward from Alliance. Once again, they know where Monkey King is. Monkey has his own dire obs down. A quick little tree leap away. And Nico Baby not fast enough on the Quelling Blade. The FNG fast on the Sentry Ward. Remove that extra vision, but maybe Nico Baby overstayed his welcome. He runs in quickly to the Wukong's command, combining with the Blade Mount. Nico Baby so low on life, but he gets a Shadow Dance off. They have to jump out of the Wukong's command. Oracle is nearby. I don't know if he can really help out the Axe. Who else will be here? Rubik 2. Four heroes from Prodigy retreating back to their tier 1 tower, which doesn't exist, but FN oh, can beat their the tower. Man. They look for the sun. They look over towards Lena. False Promise will give them the time for Prodigy to remain on the front lines and fight, but S4, they keep them inside the Whirling Death. DM can at least get the dunk. So two heroes down. Prodigy lost the Monkey King that they want to kill off S4, and they're able to isolate him. The rest of Alliance went to full retreat. FNG's in the tree lines. They're oh, pinging man. the wrong way. He doesn't have TP available, however. And now they're pinging the right way. Um, guys? Oh, oh the trees! It comes in the way back, but they see him? They're pinging. Uh, you know, a 4 or 3k lead is not safe when you're playing aggro into a team that has things like Boat and uh, the Egg. So they gotta make sure they're doing it cautiously, and they really want that, like, instant destruction Ooh. of a hero. They see this ward, though. They see the ward. Uh, it's underneath the sentry. Do they have vision of Mickey? Not quite. Actually, it's behind that tree. Dude, that ward placement is awesome. They get all the vision there. So Resolution is caught out away from the rest of his squad. Doesn't even manage to get anything off from that. And now, uh, VP are in a terrible position. They're wanting to walk forward into this one, still underneath the Sentry Ward. The turnaround on a Quake, but gonna blow him up right at the start of the Mars Arena. Now the Supernova down. They will eventually be brought down. The Spear connects onto Kunkka, and LTW has to just run away, hoping that he can escape. But Boxy chases down no one. They'll find that kill as well. Nice. And they're grouping together to fight again. So they want to take this fight. Taiga hiding back behind the trees. Scouts out everybody. Sees, okay, there's several heroes over here. Mickey trying to find Solo. They get vision on him. Find him right at the start with that spear afterwards. Now Quakefoot jumps onto Solo, kills him off. The boat comes far too late, and no one's stuck on the outside of it. They get the silence now onto this Terra Blade, trying to control him, trying to bring him down. Resolution pulls back in insane, but he manages to get the soul bind off. Again, I love you guys. What an amazing team fight from Team Liquid. No one is going to be controlled afterwards. Boxy's taking down Resolution. That was freaking clinical. Yeah, you Unreal. actually could not draw this up any better. <laughs> but it's instead going to not find it. The ping, Grimstroke it's realizes, months. okay, he's over there. We got an idea, but they find Taiga. Ready to start Boxy. Finds the Phoenix in return. They try and bring down Boxy. He hides on the other side of the arena, doing no damage right now. Quake for though, getting completely eviscerated by this Terrible. He's getting destroyed, trying to run away. Can they bring him down in time? They will. The Supernova goes off. This one will not be taken care of. It will pop two dead, 90 seconds, no buyback, and VP ready to go again.
Ah, oh, Terrorblade's still a hero, ladies and gentlemen. Aegis just is, is now expiring. The turnaround, though. No, the dark portion, they got him. ILTW is going to drop. They just, just expired. They got him. Oh, my God. You will set for lift up. Liquid pulling a fast one, make the play of the day. And now Mickey, he doesn't have the rapier, actually. Who is it that has the rapier? The chase forward looking for Mickey, trying to bring him down. He is in some trouble, dies to retaliate. Oh, Phoenix has it. Zion has it. <laughs> Tyga has it. Oh my god. Dude, Tyga's a monster now. Get away from this freaking Weaver. He can't oh, deal oh, with the oh. time lapse. No, you Scepter. The reaction time comes out. Tries to get away. Time lapse run away with the grim stroke. They've got that ink swell. Right clicks coming through. Isn't enough? It is. A double kill for the four Weaver. Foxy with the big move. Yeah, he got the. And he used his old refresher shard, whereas they still have the refresher shard left on the TV from this one. Gotta be very careful. Sunray, repair kit, always like to see that one. And the Dark Portrait's beaten away at this tower. They need to deal with that. Stun comes out. My God, quick foot. Stun the spear, pull them back in. What a freaking baller! They blow That's up the, the flyback. flyback! What a play! The Hex is there. They're controlling this Terror Blade. He's dead! That's it. That's all, folks. GG, well played. Liquid, close it out. We'll say that you know, comparing, well, actually, hold on. We need to hold that thought because yeah, they're about to go into a battle. Ammo. Chase, Sun, onto one. The fear afterwards on the Ember. Curse Crown afterwards, leashed up onto both. He can't dodge away from it. They're both stunned up. Boxy finds him. The stun is there from the spear. They're going to lose the Witch Doctor. Requiem of Souls does not come out in time. The heal was not enough from Zayat. They buy back on the Witch Doctor, but it's not going to matter. Resolution does manage to get that blink away. So that keeps him alive for now, but Quakeva still has him in his sights. And Diffusal Blade, Stampede gonna be popped as they don't have. Oh, wait, here we go. Shadow Blade time. Let's go, baby. Shadow Blade, do they have any detection? I don't think they do. It's the one in the million shot that they need right onto Boxy at the start. No, he's walking away though. And now they don't have it. Maybe a find for a kill as they take down Insania. Maledict onto the top of him. Mickey jumps in onto Solo, blows him up. BKB comes out and now Boxy, he's pissed. It's gonna turn onto Shadow Feed. How dare you? try and requiem me boxy will eventually fall but it still comes at a cost Vernus a doctor contribution. oh chase taunt pulls back into a healthy w hit again trying to live the fear comes out it connects onto two science trying to keep him alive it's not gonna happen another couple die another one dies ltw forced to buy back and well with that buyback liquid are gonna decide to retreat at least oh. for the moment yeah, Rezo had blink in a second, but then he got tagged up by uh, Koikvo to help ensure Mickey's escape.